Hi guys, um, I am now doing a video about Frida and Yoda bonding. You all know that parrots aren't ordinary pets. They are not like dogs, so you can uh, put them together and they'll play immediately. Parrots are more challenging than that. When you are introducing two parrots, uh, their introduction can be really aggressive. Their skin is thick and they are communicating through biting. If that looks very aggressive to us, that doesn't mean it has to be aggressive. There is one golden rule in introducing parrots and that is no poop, no blood, no worries. If you think they are hurting each other and there is no poop or no blood or no smell, lead them. They are not hurting each other, they're just playing. If your parrot is alone and he's never been on a playdate and you want to get another one, uh, use this method because it will help you and your parrot uh, to cross that uh, barrier more easily. Yes. I also have a parrot who loves to hang out around my neck. Yoda, we're talking about bonding you and Frida. <laughs> Yes, yeah. uh, when I got Yoda, first I had to check that he is 100% healthy. You don't want to uh, get a sick parrot in your home. Um, I held Frida in one room and Yoda in second room and they were separated with, uh, with the door. But they, c they could smell each other under the door. So both of them knew that there is another parrot in this home. So after 10 days I was at the vet with Yoda and we got him vaccinated, uh, we checked him after 10 days so he was healthy and I started that introduction process. I knew that Frida and Yoda, Yoda's introduction would be challenging because Yoda, baby as it is, Frida, a lonely little girl as, it, as she is. Um, but it went well, it really went well. First day, Frida started to bite Yoda viciously. She was really biting him hard and he was upset. The second day she was more calm about it, uh, but she was still biting him. The third day, uh, Yoda bite back, which is great because he showed her that she, he has teeth also. I think that he earned some respect with her because she was after that she was really really uh, more calm than other days and after that they played all the time so the first one I tried is uh, to put some oil or ferritone or, ma or malface what you have uh, what your ferret loves to lick on that spot where your ferret bites another ferret Frida was biting Yoda behind on the back so I put some mold paste on him. It was okay for about two minutes, then the paste dried and I had to do it all over again. So that method isn't good for me because Frida didn't accept it. Never mind. let's try method number two. Uh, method number two I used when Frida was a little girl and it wasn't very effective. So I kind of skipped that method because Frida knows about her and it doesn't work on her. So method number two is uh, to try to raise your ferret again, pretend to be his mother. Uh, that ferret, which is uh, too aggressive, hold him by the scruff. So here, Yoda. I will just demonstrate, I won't do it now. So if, for example, Yoda bites Frida too, too much, grab him here. Kiss and shake very, very, very gently. Their mother does that when they are bad boys, when they are little. <coughs> anyway, I didn't do that method because I tried that method when Frida was small, when she was biting. She was biting for about two weeks when she was with me, then she stopped. Method number three also didn't work out with, for me because that method is a timeout. 
Frida loves to sleep. She sleeps all the time. Really, she, she sleeps about 20 hours a day, I'm sure. And the timeout says, when your ferret is in bed, put him in a transporter in a cage for five minutes so he can cool off. If I do that, uh, Frida will roam around the cage and then go to sleep. So that isn't uh, some special punishment for her. Now we are coming to method number four. Method number four is actually very interesting, very logical, and I like it a lot, but I also couldn't do it. Since Yoda had fleas when he came, I gave him a treatment against fleas, and I also gave Frida a treatment against fleas, just to be sure. The me method number four says that you should bathe them together, which means I had to make them wet. And that isn't good because they have that stuff against fleas on them. I'll just find another method. As you can see, now I have tried four methods and none of them worked. First method worked for about two minutes and other methods just didn't work because they don't work on my ferrets, but they will probably work on your ferret. Now we are here to talk about method number five. The method which helped me a lot. It is very similar to method number four, but it's not so invasive. So I won't get them wet 100%, I will get them wet 5%. All you need is a bottle with spray, and when they are naughty, just spray them in the face with water, of course, nothing else. That is method which helped me a lot, because Frida doesn't love water. And it is like a surprise method. When Frida was too aggressive, when she started to bite him and he was screaming, I just sprayed that water in her face. She stopped immediately. She stopped, looked at me and was... What did I do? Every time she was aggressive, I did it. After a while, Yoda also started to fight back. So every time he was aggressive, he got the same treatment. So method number five, when you use a bottle filled with water and spray and you spray them in the face, is the best method for my situation. That doesn't mean it will be the best method for your situation. All death methods are good. They really work, but you need to understand uh, that this introduction is stressful for your ferrets and for you. So if they are really fighting, they are really aggressive, stop. Take a break, try in a couple of hours. There are ferrets who are best friends the same second they meet, and there are ferrets who are best friends after two months they meet. After the first day of their introduction, I thought that Frida and Yoda would hate each other. That looked worse than it really was. So if you think that your ferrets are too aggressive to each other, use this method and just have patience. They need to take time to get used to one another. Have patience, don't give up and your ferrets will like each other. It may take a while or it may be in two days. So love your ferrets, give them big hugs and big kisses from me. So thank you all for watching and we'll see each other. Bye!